My name's Paris, I'm a conceptual graffiti artist. The projects I'm probably most known for are creating the album cover for Coldplay's Milo Zilotto, um, in which I worked with the band and painted with the band and then also went on to do their well tour and, um, and created all kinds of art related to that, to stadium pieces and uh, painting um, instruments, drum kits, all sorts of things like that. Uh, I've done a lot of other work in the music industry, festivals, and uh, and then also I do a lot of studio work and uh, exhibit worldwide. The yacht came through my good friend Luke, who was trying to raise awareness for um, getting a skate park built in Portishead. So as an artist myself, uh, coming from Bristol, I've always been surrounded by really exciting street art, um, installations, people making stuff all the time, and Port said uh, there's less of that going on, so we really wanted to bring some of that kind of um, you know, energy and harness a bit of that and bring something new to Port Said that has never been done before, which engages the community, inspires the young people here, and uh, does something totally different, brings a buzz to the place. So the initial idea for the Marina Arts Trail was to get members of the public and artists down to the marina to create new pieces of artwork which we could display around the marina. So that was the original idea. But of course, this snowboarded into something much bigger. Um, and uh, before I knew it, I'd arranged for a, a half pipe to be put on the, uh, the marina so the young people could actually actively take part. Um, we'd arranged for DJs to, to um, come down on the day and mix live vinyl to provide a soundtrack for the day. So rather than building a wall to paint or, or um, finding something uh, traditional like a canvas to paint. Uh, Paris asked me whether I could find him a, uh, a camper van or, or a large van, a caravan or something to be painted. Um, so, I, so I set off to try and find um, a suitable vehicle which we could park on the marina which he could paint. It was a very creative event all round for whether you were a spectator, whether you were skating on the day, it was good for young people, good for old people, good for everyone. So I think I was sat at Wall and Woodhouse one, one, one evening when suddenly it occurred to me that perhaps a boat should be painted, you know, in keeping with the marina. I am always delighted because I kind of, so I'm from Hull originally, which is a maritime city. Um, so the thought of painting a boat, I jumped at the chance. And the fact that it's a yacht as well, I mean, that it's, it's a beautiful shape and form. Yes, so I contacted Helen Lazenby at um, the Portside Keys uh, office uh, and put the idea to her that we would like to spray paint a yacht on, on the outside of Woolen Woodhouse on, at the Marina Art Trail. Um, Helen was surprised to say the least, however she took this challenge and uh, within 24 hours she found somebody who had volunteered their boat to be painted and um, along came Stuart who had a boat which um, he was quite keen to get painted um, and uh, yeah a couple of conversations happened and um, before we knew it we had a blank canvas which was a 24 foot uh, white yacht to be spread painted. Like with all projects I do, it starts from just getting sent an image of what is to be painted and it could be anything it could be uh, you know a, a music stadium it could like a vehicle yacht uh, or it could be you know large or small whatever it is all i need to do is see it and that gets my imagination going i use this style of work we didn't use anything that had so much sort of dark colors in more because that wouldn't work with like a marine uh, vehicle so we kept it very light uh, very colourful, uh, very atmospheric. So working from like the kind of you know from the ocean, water, light, all of those things. Atmospheric type abstract painting is pretty much what I'm renowned for. That's like my trademark style. Obviously, I got sent photos of the you know what what was to be done, but it's with something like that, you really don't know what you're in for until you're actually up against the surface. I mean, coming from a graffiti background, I'm very used to challenges like that where you're not, you know, very rarely a controlled environment, especially working on the street or whatever. So painting a yacht, um, it was set up wonderfully. It was raised on like a sort of trailer, but it was a perfect sort of height for working on. Looked, I mean, it was much bigger 
than than I imagined when you're actually sort of up close to it and it's and technically quite a difficult surface it's a very fast surface as in the um you know it's very shiny um obviously beautifully you know beautiful white finish on it so it was a beautiful blank canvas but um and there was quite a lot of wind as well obviously be by being by the coast uh, and more wind on one side than the other. There were times where I was sort of near painting near the front of the boat and the paint was pretty much not even touching the surface. It was just blowing like the other way. I mean that luckily because of the, what I was, the type of work, the nature of the art itself, which was very abstract and loose and relied on kind of soft fades of color um, because of those techniques I was using, the actual wind almost helped in a way. Um, and it was lucky I wasn't doing something with much finer, sharper details because it would that would have been an absolute nightmare. But yeah, and I just sort of flowed around the boat. It was difficult if you were to actually fold the boat out to, you know, so if you saw your entire painting surface in one go, that's pretty vast. And I sort of got right down one side thinking, yeah, I'm getting there, turn the corner, whoa, I've got, you know, him again so it was it was challenge and we you know we did it just in the nick of time this is potentially the first time that a yacht's ever been painted spray painted um, in this way so uh, it's certainly a very unique opportunity for Paris uh, a unique opportunity for the Marina Arts Trail and something totally different for Port's Head um, I think it's wonderful you can see the Banshee out on the marina uh, spray painted amongst the uh, the other yachts um, in fact you can't miss it <laughs> and I think I I nailed it at the end yeah <laughs>